All right, so this tutorial, uh, we're going to talk about how to um, create a PHP file or HTML file and connect the PHP file to a database. And then you do this locally on your machine and then you want to uh, put it live or in production, like they call it. You know, you go from development to production, local host to, to uh, uh, where you can um, uh, reach it from anywhere from the internet. Uh, how we do that, which software we use, and uh, how we can do it in a good uh, working flow, you know, uh, workflow, so uh, it's easy to, to implement all the time. So let's say that you uh, created a PHP file, it looks like this, connect to database, and it's in your uh, test folder here, my project, and it's connect to database. Uh, so this is what you got here. And we're connecting to a database locally on our machine. Um, and uh, we uh, select everything from the user table. Uh, and we are, well, bar dumping uh, the results. And we extract a name from this one. And then we do an insert on this. So we select something from our database and we put in something from our database. Right now, uh, let's say you created this uh, first DB, that's our database, and we got the table users here. So this is also locally on your computer. Uh, you created this and I'm gonna show you how. Um, so we got this, these values here, these rows. Uh, and uh, what we wanna do now is extract things from uh, this database. And then we are also gonna put in the values uh, Stina email three in this one. So we're putting a name in and an email in. And uh, let's do, uh, let's uh, run this one. So if I got it right here. So uh, we, we got it here, localhost test my project connect to database dot PHP. So this is locally. If I push the refresh button here, we will get this. So it's two uh, rows and the first one is Rani uh, and the other one is Emma and if we look at our database now we, we extracted this Rani as well from from um, the select and if we look at the database and we refresh it table users we see that Stina is there so so this one was working here the PHP now we want to put this live so we're gonna do this in the digital ocean and now I've already set it up just to show you how the result is going to be. I've also set up um, a uh, filezilla here to connect to uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, so we have our folder right here. Uh, it's fresh and new, so uh, uh, it contains just this. But now I want to uh, put the thing I did locally here. So I have. I uh, open the standard menu here. I got my project here. So let's say I want to put my project uh, so I can reach it um, wherever I want. I just um, put the my project file here just by moving it to this side here. So uh, I got my project and I got the connect to database. That one we don't need. It's just something I did earlier. Uh, like that. So we now have it in digital oceans. So if we uh, go to uh, We will go to the page I created uh, for let's see where it is Oh well uh, one second here. It's in uh, we have it in 95. So I actually didn't put it, uh, we don't have a name here. Um, I'm gonna show you this with, uh, if you have a domain name, you can uh, um, you can put the domain name here instead, but then you need to register a domain name. So I'm gonna show you how just to put it in, and then it's easy just to change this to a domain name. But right, right now it's this, so uh, if I go to, for example, PHP my admin here, uh, you see that we have 
a database as well and this is live this is on digital oceans but it's uh, we don't have anything um, in it here we don't have first DB so we need to first of all export uh, this uh, this database we have locally but it's very easy if we do PHP uh, admin on both of them you see here this is localhost this is on our machine uh, and this is on digital ocean so we can reach it from anywhere so uh, here I got my first DB what we'll do is we will export this one no problem and uh, we do custom so we check that one and we uh, uh, take away display comments and then we just uh, hit go now uh, I'll put it in my notepad plus plus I'm gonna copy all of this copy uh, we can then go to this one and first of all we're gonna we're just gonna create a database uh, first DB that's what it's, it's called all right so there we go first DB so we enter first DB and now we just uh, paste what we had here before and then we go run and if we look at the first DB now and users you see users we, uh, we got users in and we got all these uh, tables here I'm gonna remove this Stina here because if we look at the code here uh, we want to insert Stina afterwards uh, just to show you so we have everything but it's one more thing we need to change and that is the password right here uh, we're in our local host now on digital oceans and we've set up uh, a database but it has another password uh, right now anyway so the password here which I created before was uh, is this one and we need to uh, go to FileZilla to this connect to database which I uh, exported to to FileZilla and then to digital oceans so we do view and edit and we have the same file here but this is locally and this is if we if look at it you see the temp fz3 temp uh, so it's it's on FileZilla or digital oceans so I'm going to change this password to the one uh, we have for digital oceans it's called first DB no problem uh, the username is root and the password is this so we're good to go now uh, if we if we just hit um, let's see it was did I keep so uh, over here uh, if I do I'm gonna duplicate this and then I'm gonna do uh, see what we got here if I do this no sorry I think it's my project we got it in my if we, if we just look at FileZilla here where am I uh, we are in HTML my project so my project and connect to database right there so when I hit this nothing shows why is that it's because we need dot PHP of course so uh, there you have it uh, we see we uh, did the same thing as before extracted this and what we're uh, supposed to see here if you if, uh, refresh this we have Stina email mailing editor here and uh, you could enter this on your phone mobile phone or from some other computer uh, this uh, page right here uh, this one and you would see the same thing and you would do the same thing so this is what we want to do we want to uh, create something locally like from here we create this one and 
then we uh, have a database to it as well. So we have a we have a database locally. Then we want to just simply uh, move this to uh, production, and we do this by Digital Oceans. So we just copy everything uh, with FileZilla. Uh, and uh, get the files to digital oceans and then we also export the database to digital oceans database and change the password and uh, just uh, uh, make it work so this is what I'm going to show you and you can do this with larger projects uh, obviously you know if I, I have some projects here so if I uh, for example have squash here and I want to copy the whole project here I would uh, just open this in explorer like that and uh, just copy the whole folder or directory here to HTML and uh, you see, uh, this is going to be, uh, we'll see how many files we got. It's just an example of how how uh, this is easy to do. If I have some database in my project, I need to change the, uh, the things uh, also uh, for the database files here. Um, so there you have it anyway I mean if you if you have what I usually do when I work with a project I uh, let's say here uh, I have a folder called blackberry and if I I don't copy everything you know I this is the core file and it contains the database file so I don't want to uh, copy this. Say I got already BlackBerry here and I want to do updates to BlackBerry here. I don't want to update the passwords uh, that I have for the database because it's already set to digital oceans here. So I just have to copy over everything else but the password. Then I don't need to change anything in the uh, database in um, that we have on digital oceans for example so there you have it anyway so this is what we will what i will show you in uh, in the next videos for this series how we uh, how we use the software filezilla how we install exam so you can do everything locally and uh, oh, do everything everything uh, that i just showed you here all right, so see you in the next video, hopefully.